So in Michigan, there are about 1,500 known shipwrecks in Michigan waters around the Great Lakes. Most of them are from the 19th century. So they're schooners and barks and brigs and things like that. And then in the turn of the century, end of the 1800s, early 1900s, there are many more steamers and uh, paddle wheelers, uh, propellers, bulk freighters, package freighters. Worldwide, three million shipwrecks are estimated to lie in the bottom of oceans and lakes. Less than 1% of these wrecks have actually been found. I've spent 45 years of my life looking for shipwrecks, but 98% of that time is looking at wonderful images of absolutely nothing. Now, a team led by University of Michigan Robotics professor Katie Skinner is developing technology that will explore the seafloor much as a human would. It uses artificial intelligence to scour sonar data and quickly identify areas that warrant a closer look. Initial tests are taking place on Lake Huron in northern Michigan. So right now we're at the Alpena Marina. This is our kind of starting point for every mission. We can go out from here to the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. Thunder Bay has 100 known shipwreck sites and 100, uh, up to 100 unknown sites or undiscovered sites. We'll start with the known shipwrecks here, but hopefully we'll discover something new too. So we're going to adjust the, uh, the survey pattern to hopefully fly over both wrecks in a, in a single underwater permission. Yeah. I mean, the hopes and dreams is to be able to teach autonomous vehicles how to really search uh, the seabed and to recognize the important things on the bottom for, for finding wrecks from all the other natural occurring things on the bottom of the, of the water. So we just deployed the IRA for its first mission of the day. Uh, so we deploy it off the side of the boat, we watch it go to its first waypoint on the surface, and then it will dive down for the first leg. We programmed lawnmower pattern, which means it will uh, do eight different legs in kind of a lawnmower fashion for this survey. What we're trying to look at is we know where the shipwreck is. This is a well-known wreck, uh, but we're looking for clues that would teach underwater vehicles like ours to be able to find wrecks more efficiently. So we're looking for patterns in the bottom, uh, debris that may have fallen off the ship during the time it was sinking. The system can look for clues in the vast amount of existing sonar data that's publicly available. It can also help new missions find areas of interest more quickly. So this is a, a sonar image of Lucinda Van Volkenberg, a schooner here, uh, that wrecked in Thunder Bay as a result of collision. And we we're able to see kind of a, a sort of a plan view uh, going right over the top of the wreck. And you can kind of see the debris field at the stern. While using underwater vehicles and sonar is not new, teaching computers to autonomously identify the best areas to explore is on the cutting edge of this technology. Yeah, so we can think about the shipwreck detection problem similar to anomaly detection. So we want to give the uh, system a lot of experience of seeing large amounts of data that doesn't necessarily have shipwrecks. It's just about the general terrain. And this allows it to learn what those features are in the general terrain. So when it comes across new features like shipwreck sites or other archaeological sites of interest, it can recognize that that is something that it hasn't really seen before. Uh, AUV just popped up. Yeah, yeah, I think we're, we're going to pull it in. Yep, we're going to pull in the Ivor. Right now I'm copying some of the sonar data off the vehicle that we just recovered. The, the problem we're trying to solve, and, and many people are facing this problem, Malaysian Flight 370 is a perfect example. The clues are that it, it was lost somewhere in the Indian Ocean and it's an enormous amount of territory to try and cover with sonar in order to see something like a wreck, whether it's an airplane or whether it's a ship. And the same is true here in the Great Lakes. 
we need to have ways to be able to refine the search to areas that are most probable to contain clues about the wreck. So that is a, the, the main problem that we're trying to solve here. A successful automated system could help us understand the ocean and lake floor and uncover secrets still hidden beneath the sea.